Hi, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually easily create pins for Pinterest in Canva. Maybe you know Canva program and we're going to show you how exactly step by step easily you can create pins for your Pinterest account. My name is Michaela and I'm Pinterest manager and strategist. I really want to show you in these short videos how you can create, uh, simplify your Pinterest management, how you can create pins, how you can find and search keywords and all the Pinterest managements to really use the full potential of this platform. So we are going to see the video how you can create pins in Canva program. So let's see the video tutorial, how you can actually create pins in Canva program and then schedule them or publish them on Pinterest account. So let's open Canva. You can have two versions. You can have the free version of Canva or also paid version. For the basic pinning and creating any kind of social media post, even of course for Pinterest or uh, documents or uh, any kind of other, you can create anything you want in Canva. It's an amazing program. So you can easily use the free version. You don't need the paid version right now, but there are a lot of, lot of great, great tools and features you can use in the paid one, like brand kit and other AI tools. But now we're going to use just the free version. So you open the canva.com, you go create design on the right top and here, or you can even write it here in the middle. You just write Pinterest. Pinterest is already going to show you like some suggestions, what kind of pins you could use, like templates. So we are using this one of these two. <clears throat> one is uh, the basic one, 1,000 to 1,500 pixels. And this one is the longer one, is the same, same size like uh, Instagram stories or reels or TikTok videos. So for this demonstration, we are using 1,000 to 1,500 pixels because it, that's the recommended size for pins on Pinterest by by this program. So I open it here. You can easily see this is like a, just a blank template. There is nothing here. On the left, you of course see designs like already templates created in, uh, in Canva for you. You can use them and change them. But in this video, I want to show you how you can create actually the pin from scratch. So first you're going to go on elements and we're going to see all the elements, you just put like a picture, like a elements, and we will see how you can find it. So you see here elements, you scroll a little bit down and in the frames, you just click all grids. It's better even grids. You click on the grids and it's going to be like this uh, blank template. So you can put picture here and then you can move it as you want. First, uh, if you don't have a pictures, you can even upload it here. So you have uploads, you can upload your pictures if you want or anything like this. If I upload my picture, of course, I can uh, upload it from my computer or even from your phone, or you can use the photos. There is a lot of like a photos for free in Canva. So let's say now it's a uh, spring. So I'm going to search for spring theme, spring background, for example, and I will search and see. I'm going to use some of these. Maybe we will see. Let's say, let's make a pin about flowers. It's spring is coming, so I can move it a little bit and maybe do like this, yeah? No, I don't like it, so I'll go back and I will keep it like this. Maybe I will use different flowers, something like this. Maybe let's have a look. Okay, perfect. You can also use, okay, you see these ones with like a, it's written when you click over, it's with Pro, which means Pro is paid version. So I'm going to use a free one, which actually is, this is free picture from Canva or even these two lips, yeah? You can use them uh, easily without uh, having to pay for Canva program. So let's have a look. Okay, it's okay. I mean, we can a little bit move it like this. And now you can actually add your text and ideally you use text on the left and you can see you can save it in the brand kit if you have the pro version the paid version if you don't have it you can easily use any suggested text from canva so we can use for example this one again this is pro so let's have a look for the free ones if there is any free 
this is glow, it's free, so we're going to use it. And we're going to write something like spring flowers, for example. I'm going to, of course, make it smaller. You can put it like this, or really just play with it. Put it in the middle. You can choose the position here to be exactly in the middle. We have it in the middle, so perfect. Of course, you want to also add some text like your website or your logo. We can easily add like subheading here, put it maybe over here and then write your website, for example. Like, let's say I will just imagine it. There is, I will put my website, but it's of course, you, you're going to put yours doesn't exist. Uh, I don't have anything about flowers. Of course, I I teach about Pinterest. So this is just a demonstration for you. So I'm going to put it like this and maybe not so bold like this, okay? So this is the pin. Very easily, step by step, you can use anything else like other elements, maybe something like flowers. And you can choose always search for it. And you see it in the graphics, something interesting, what's going to maybe be something interesting, what's for free, if we have free version again. So maybe we will going to search and see this one looks nice and it's for free. So we can also change it a little bit and add some more flowers if you want in your colors. Okay, so imagine like this, something like that. Flowers here, flowers everywhere. Yeah, so this is something like you can, of course, play with it. You can also this use as a template for the future pins. It doesn't mean that you just create one and that's it. But when you're done, when you're ready, you basically go on the top right corner in Canva, you go click on the share, and then you have download. You can download it as PNG or JPEG. Easily go download and you have this pin ready. And this pin you can actually download in a computer or you can also use it in your application. So if you have Canva application, you can do exactly the same. Then you open your Pinterest account and you put this pin in the here on the create pin. So this is the basic business account. You go create pin and you can add the pin we just created for this purpose for this video. It's in your computer or on your application here download and you see exactly this pin. So this is how you create pins in Canva, very easy. Uh, it's not very difficult. It's step-by-step -step tutorial, just follow it. You can also save this template for future and you can create amazing pins for Pinterest. If you like my videos about Pinterest and Pinterest tips, and uh, I, follow me because I am putting every week new videos about Pinterest management, Pinterest ideas, and inspiration for you to create the best uh, business account on Pinterest and use it for the full potential of this platform for your business. So subscribe here and I see you in next video.